Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. This is episode 7. Last episode we actually did quite a lot. We kissed Shadowheart, we basically kissed Gale. So, Camp is in romance mode now. We dealt with the spider matriarch, the phase spider matriarch. Very tough fight considering, you know, we were level 3 and it was level 5. If it hits us with Enrage, we probably get one shot. Thankfully, we got a bit lucky. And we opened the Necromancy of Fae. And I was able to actually read it. So, there's more to do with that. Today, we'll probably be meeting another companion. We're going to take Will on his quest. Deal with whatever demon he's hunting. And also... Get Gale a new staff, I think, but I wanted to talk Scratch first, because I didn't really welcome him to camp last time. So we've got to speak with animals on now. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Sorry about what happened to your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Have a pet. You know, we welcomed him to camp, but we didn't talk to him, so... <laughs> Maybe I start every episode by talking to Scratch. Now, obviously, last time we also lost Basket in the, uh, in the fighting. I think we have to give him to a wizard. <laughs> There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. Now is a good time, Shadowheart. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Okay. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. Alright. I'll do that. She asked for it. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. Kid heart. Hate that sound. <laughs> she asked my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. Hmm. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. Something sparks in your memory about Salunite rites of passage. You heard once about how they would send their children out into the wilds to navigate their way home. You look like you were wearing a moonstone. Isn't that commonly worn by Salunites? <laughs> You're reading too much into things. A childhood bauble, that's all. Just because Salunites claim something doesn't mean they own it. Well, thank you for sharing. Normally I'd agree, but with you, it's getting easier by the moment. Interesting. That's another piece of dialogue that I didn't have last time, because uh, I guess I'd never got into that little chest in the Albia cave. Even though I've played through it, I actually completed the game for the first time yesterday. And I'm still like... There's still so much I don't know. <laughs> well, not stuff that I don't know, but just that I haven't seen, you know, dialogue-wise. I think I want to go back over to the Albia cave. I want to see if anything's progressed there, so... Probably skip over to there. Time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. 
Now, a mere werebear could swat me halfway to arm. I mean, a weeaby is pretty big. Strange things are happening to us. What festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put yourself down because you can't deal with a weeaby, you know? <laughs> When they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster. I faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint though. Seems I was just enough. waiting for that they are they always disappoint. I remember it from my last because I was like, ah, oh, I'm a confident one. And then she said that and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Albia has progressed. A goblin patrol looks like. Beasts. She deserved better than that. Can take the spear now, I guess. I don't actually know if I picked up the other piece. It's on the body outside. But I think I <laughs> didn't pick it up. I'll take the Albia egg. Supposed to be worth a fortune. So the Albia is dead. No sign of its cub, though. I assume the goblins probably stole it. You should consider a new name. Take it. You have some suggestions. The Wizard Wonder. Or <laughs> how about the Master of the Week? There is a. But I think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles. The Blade of Frontiers. Those are terrible names, honestly. I saw you training those children. You were so gentle. That's not how I was taught. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned a lesson, after all. You came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. Alright, so now we can combine... ...these two items. And we get a... ...vision of the Absolute. Not much for throwing no, weapons, but you know, having so more items. And here's toughest kill. Ah, it was a great scrap. A hungry minotaur with a hankering for human flesh. Minotaur? An axe-bearing mountain of fur she was. Gave me a nasty scar. Impressive. I hope you don't mind if I don't ask to see it. <laughs> I'll see it, Will. You can show me, buddy. Will with a Y. Why? Why? <laughs> Why not? That's right. But why? Why, why? That might be worth a look. A great uncle's name, my father said. But I just figured he couldn't spell. <laughs> Will with a why. Why? It looks like Gale has become hungry. We've been waiting for this. Oh, you'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. My condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. Well, we do have magical artifacts. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? We'll just give him the cap for now because we're not going to be using a bard. Thank you. Eat up. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> oh, that hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition sounds unpleasant. It's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. <laughs> Sincerely, though, 
I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. I don't mention it. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. I actually had trouble getting an artifact for him to consume on my first run just because of like, you know, exploring slower and only having a few. I was like, I don't really have anything I can give you. Not knowing where to get stuff. Because <laughs> I didn't want him to eat those gloves that you get at the start of the game, obviously. Welcome to Joaquin's Rest. West, Baldur's Gate. East, Elturel. Joaquin's Rest. Smoke. Something's burning. Something happened here. He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. What the hell's happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. Keep pushing! Duke Raven Guard could be inside. On count of three. One, two. Raven Guard? He's here. Yes, now make yourself useful. Push, damn it, push! I don't know if we're very good at strong peoples, but... I don't know what I just said. You know, it's not that much of a strength check, surely. We've got an inspiration. Okay, good. We're strong enough. Pick that door. It's on fire. Get through here. The heat coming off that door. Opening it could spell trouble. Come. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. That's fear, that's fear. Hello? This is a bad place to be, mate. The fire! Hurry! Get this thing off me! I think... That's it! Get your ass out of there. And then start running. Uh, thank you. Now, how the hell do we get out of here? Follow me. <coughs> Right. I'll try to keep up. How much farther can I go? They slaughtered everyone. Mary. Oh, Mary. Come on, mate. There's no time. No. The building's burning down. I should speak up. <laughs> Mary. No. Gods, no, no, no. You should have stayed. You should have been with me. How did you two get separated? I was in our room. We had a fight. If I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry, she'd still... She'd still be here. This isn't on you. There's no way you could have known. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm so sorry. Please, just go. I need a moment with her. You're going to stay in here? Okay. <laughs> Councillor Floric, are you all right? Well, by the living gods, I couldn't have asked for a finer saviour. Scorched throat, a few hairs singed off, nothing a bit of time and, and fresh air can't cure. Gauntlet, a new duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Report to the Manic and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Councillor. No, it can't be. You mean they've taken my... Yes, 
will. The drow have your father. Your father? You are the son of nobility. The circumstance of my birth is no matter of pride for neither me nor my father. But pride is no reason to refuse help to my own flesh and blood. How can we help? Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. Baldur's Gate needs him now more than ever. Trust us to see it through, Counselor. Who is this Duke Ravenguard? The invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city's collapse is certain. I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Why entrust this to me? Isn't it clear? You travel with the Blade of Frontiers. Who might I trust if not a legend? Who might rise to the moment if not Ravenguard's own son? I'm not Ravenguard's son. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. When the Grand Duke returns to the city, he'll hail his only son, a hero. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Remember, Will, courage is found in the battle against fear, not in the defeat of it. So father said. I won't soon forget. Fist to work. All right, now we get the choice of some items and we are going to take the staff because it is very good. <laughs> For Gale. <laughs> when the wielder deals damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain two lightning charges. This also works really well with arcane missiles. Shit. You can put distance between you and yesterday. But you'll never leave it fully behind. Father's words. Hard to argue with them. Floric spoke true. I'm a Grand Duke's son. Interesting. Not just any Grand Duke. The most influential in the city, if my memory serves me right. And for once, I think it does. A lot of smoke here. Maybe we shouldn't talk here, you know? Then the choice is clear. We should rescue your father. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Men's Oberanzen would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. Absolute his absolute nutters. alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. It would be the more bad. reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. You don't need to keep secrets from us, Will. I know. And you're right. When I look into a mirror, I see two faces. I see the Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And I see Will Ravenguard, a memory of a memory, a man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. What's it like being the son of a green duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith. Born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist. Brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. Hmm. I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Hmm, courtly dance. I'd love a demonstration. <clears throat> it's been a badger's age since I've twinkled my toes. A drunk ogre could put on a better show. You dance like a drunk ogre? That sounds hilarious. Count me in. <laughs> well, give it some time. Develop a bond and maybe I'll show you a move or two. I promise, Clumsy Oaf is well within my repertoire. We won't uh, loot the flame and fists right now because it might annoy someone. Ooh. Plus one armor. armor. No magic left there. 
Sun's too bright. Yeah, but plus one armor. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> it looks a bit silly on me, but hey. Not like my last armor piece looked that great, you know. I want to go get the waypoint. This is one thing I forgot to do last time I was playing through. I did not get the waypoint. I don't need that. That's... So when I wanted to, to wait, make my way back here, I uh, had to run. <laughs> yeah, and now Gale's got his two staffs and he always also gains one armor from having two weapons. But this weapon's really good with magic missiles. Anyway, let's get on the road again. These guys, these null hunters especially, they absolutely wreck. Yes. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Another fight. Let's go. Oh, we took one out. Another step forward. They are surprised. So that's good for us. <laughs> we can take out the hunters before they can really do anything, then. Pretty good. Let's see. We should only need a rank one. Like maybe, yeah. Maybe it won't kill it, but. No need to like spend all of our stuff. Alright, well. Half is interrupted. There's a. Like a. Rock in the way. <laughs> See if we can land the Gaiden Bolt. With War Priest, we can. <laughs> you know, War Priest's pretty good. I really like War Priest. God, those dual crossbows are sick. <laughs> My soul, it's numbed. Do an Eldritch Blast on him. Sadly, a miss. <laughs> I know just what to do. Nice. Fancy their chances. I'm ready. Oh, Shadowheart, kill this. Kill this. Job. On the move. Yeah, this fight was uh, a lot harder when I did it the first run. But I guess when you're prepared and you know what's going to happen. Not that bad. Plus, we got pretty lucky. The RNG. Those gnolls definitely had me camped for like two hours when I first played this game. <laughs> I'm not even joking, like. Another step forward. They were absolutely destroying me. Granted, when I first started the game, I was pretty bad at it. We're not done with the gnolls yet, though. This must be where the gnolls attack. The creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. Your nostrils fill with the rank smell of death. The hyena has feasted, but looking into her eyes, you know it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Come! See, my flesh becomes new flesh. What does that mean? You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Gnolls can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. 
I'll show you mercy, hyena. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too. Stillborn. Definitely a uh, pretty fucked up situation. Now the problem is we've still got these ones that are also doing it. So we definitely want to take them out first. I really love these dual crossbows. Breathe deep and move. The first time I saw like NPCs using dual crossbows, I was like, holy shit, that looks awesome. I'ma do that. And now we are. No holding back. Can you make anyone else meet their maker? Not quite. Battle of wits. Throw some fireball, Gale. Cooked. Hyena's bursting nose. How horrid. Corpse breaker. How many more newborns are around? Yeah, we dealt with them pretty, pretty well, I would say. <laughs> Those fights as a new player definitely uh, rough. Delivered a chest to me unopened. There's a missing shipment around. Go up here first. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Hmm. Just a gnollish day, isn't it? Hello? At ease, friend. You're welcome to rest here. Am I? Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. What is this place? A toll house. Once upon a time, now a house of respite for those of us burned by a devil. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. Oh, we're searching for her too. You know her. Which means you know what the fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. Where is this devil? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. I'll think about it. May the just God guide you. I always just think about stuff, you know? I never, I never accept to do them. <laughs> I'm a rogue after all. Whatever whatever suits me. I don't really need a giant sword. Alright, let's head down here. We'll go find this devil. One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <laughs> Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. You're the devil we've been hunting, Karlek, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A 
great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Brain Proof wounds. that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils. Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. We're near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Stand down, Will. You saw what you saw. Or you saw what I saw, rather. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. You saw her thoughts. She poses no danger to the Sword Coast. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... I'm Frank here. Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out, I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there, but devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Hmm. Problem is, I'm not going. Paladins of tear, you say? So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. <laughs> Should the need arise. Well, let's do it then. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. They're still there. Looks like your troops all trooped up. You'll need to send someone packing if you want me to join. Gail, you can go to camp for now. I'll get little rest, given the stack of unread books waiting for me. But I'll try. Excellent. Let's go. What do you got to say, Will? So, Will. Now that we've made peace, how about we get to know each other properly? What's your story? Not so much a story as a pantomime. And I've played my part all too poorly. What's that supposed to mean? Laid out plainly for us, Will. Go on. We're listening. It means that a reckoning's coming. And I'll be the one to pay up. Hmm. You make it sound like a harvest of devils coming for your throat. You're closer than you know. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll face my penance. 
Okay. Should I be worried? You're not in any danger. I promise. I can't say the same about me. Let's level Cadillac up real fast. Shouldn't take too long. She's a barbarian after all. <laughs> they don't have that much. Probably going berserker. I think I'll grab we uh, Great Weapon Master first. Go deal with those paladins of tear. Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. Have some insight. There's something in the squint of his eye. You suspect he's lying. Enough of this charade. Enough. Enough. I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! This guy does a lot of damage. From what I remember. <laughs> Just because he's level 5. Because that level 5 martial classes get extra attack. So... We need to try and deal with him as quickly as possible. Hmm. See if we can get a sneer off. Oh. Just hoping we can, uh, you know, take him out. On the victor's path. Quickly. <laughs> but he is going to get his turn next, so. Might be scary. He just one turn just takes Carlick like down. <laughs> Hmm, there is a chance Shadowheart could take him, but... I think we just get a sword out to hopefully keep him chilling. We also broke Tears Protection, which is great. Where's Karlink? Need everyone alive and fighting. Help. We can do Try it there. <laughs> Alright, we took him down. Good. But you stay out there, mate. Finding my way. Raiders out there doing something. <laughs> Alright. We just focus on her for now. Spirit weapon to hit. Who HP? Both got two HP. <laughs> Forever dauntless. Shield. Hmm. 
Let me hit you. That one's got a lot of evasion. Just shooting Kalak right in the face. Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. You can tear this place apart, Karlik. Zariel's gotta stop fucking with me, you know? I'm done with it. I'm done with her. I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> He's free. Now I've got to get out of here for a moment because uh, otherwise we're going to take a lot of damage. <laughs> Karlik is just going to go crazy in there. This is just having a little fun, you know? <laughs> Good now? Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Okay. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Hot. Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. <laughs> Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. How do you get an infernal engine for a heart? High pain tolerance and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things if I can find him. Okay. Wonder if they mean Damon. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good. Not only do you have this thing in your chest, but it's burning up. That's the short of it. Bloody thing's been in overdrive since I left Avernus. What does the infernal engine do to you? Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. You must be pent up. I, I try not to think about it. <laughs> I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, and start making up for lost time. But hmm. not today. I'd like to hear how you ended up fighting in the blood war. Why not? Let me see if I can paint you a picture. The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. 
ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Hmm, I beat. You mentioned the boss who gave you up to Zaru? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Ugh. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Youth. <laughs> What's the best way to kill a devil in your opinion? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Devils. Now that the paladins are out of the way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? How do you feel about how you ended up? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I'd be in the middle of another adventure. Blessedly free of any tadpole. <laughs> I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants. Beholders. <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. Hmm. Maybe. Well, Carlax all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. Carlax's temper is a sight to behold. She'll need to be careful. That rage will burn her right out. We're very bloodied. Let's go loot these people. Since this person was a traitor. <laughs> Thanks for the, the four scrolls of reply. And we do get his sword of justice that he did want to give us. Go downstairs and deal with this. Ugh. I'll never get used to the stench of death. Maybe you should. I'm also over encumbered. If I want to give this to Shadowheart, it's got plus one on it, so it is better than the Everboom Blade for, like, hitting. But I might give it to Karlik. Uh -huh. Hey, that works. So I do actually plan to travel with Karlik. Because I didn't make much use of her on my last playthrough. I think we'll make Carlex sit here, actually. Do you know, I'm good at sleight of hand, so... <laughs> Definitely a lot of inventory management after this. When you use your channel oath spells, you gain heroism. We do not have a paladin right now. Alright, minor diversion. Get some loot, though, so... Worth it. Now that I know about the mystical power of holding alt... It's pretty obvious. <laughs> I honestly never even saw that last time. Now, like, wants to talk. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Got a coin slot in your heart, or what? Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe-to-toe -to -toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in. See what happens. Intriguing. Next time we're in battle, we'll make sure to use one. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. So I might put the Great X plus one on Carlake because it just makes more sense. Can't afford to and then I will give Shadowheart the Sword of Justice. Everburn's great at the start of the game, but... Because of the plus one, you know, you get one bonus to attack rolls and deal one bonus damage. 
Let's head back to camp. See if there's anyone that needs talking to. And we've got to deal with this. Hell's fire. She's coming. This is your girlfriend, Will. Will. You've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. Gods damn it. Anyone but her. Well, well, aren't you a luscious thing? You flatterer. Why, if I had a warm heart, I'm sure it would be skipping. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Be not lay a damned finger on Karlak. Don't you worry. That ship has long sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. Nice horns. That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak. Keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. I'll be honest, soldier, I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. It's been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. He is a good man, maybe the beast of us. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. You should get out of this paint. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. And why do you obey her at all? She could kill me for one, and that's not the worst of it. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. 
Hmm. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can beat her if we put our worms together. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. All right, let's grab Gale. We're bringing him back into the party for the next Can't episode. I feeling Will got off lightly. The wrath of the hells is second only to the wrath of the heavens. Having a devil in our camp will certainly make things interesting. Never a dull day, is there? Nope. Never realized it was so easy to cast magic. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong. You did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Mm. Yet it is life's most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble opinion. Very humble. So what do you think about what I pictured when we were connected by the weave? Oh, I was surprised. But pleasantly so. Just like I said, amid the madness that has befallen us. It seems almost out of place to think of a kiss. And yet, now more than ever, it's important to recall what makes us human. Well, you know what I mean. Hmm. A stolen glance. That sudden heartbeat. Sometimes the little things are worth more than kingdoms. They promise things to come. The Blade of Frontiers in the guise of a devil. I'd remark on the irony, but I'd hate to waste the breath. Still, it took guts to defy that petty patron of his. The Blade's sting is real. So, Will did the right thing, and it earned him a set of horns. Let that be a lesson to us all. Been productive so far, but we'll go see Demon real fast because it looks like we might have to for our like anyway. And I do need to go to the I grove and sell some where stuff. We are in relation to Waterdeep. From this distance between Elturel and Baldur's Gate, I'd say a long way away. Pretty good. Ah, that will make getting word to my mother rather tricky. Just use magic, mate. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. Not at this distance, anyway. <laughs> and Gail's thinking about his mother. That's nice. I think Gail's probably, like, my second favourite character in this game. Second favourite after Shadowheart, of course, because she's an elf. I've said before, I might have a type. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not Act 1 Shadowheart. Act 1 Shadowheart, mm, lower down the list. Need but later else? on, of much course. better character. But please. I could actually think about buying some upgrades now because I do have a thousand gold. So maybe between episodes, I'll look at doing that. I don't want to like Sylvana. sit here thinking about what I want to buy for the next 20 minutes. Thought I sensed an inferno around here. But you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Or do. It's up to you. You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy case. Excuse me, what? Very risky. <laughs> I might be able to help. But I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? 
Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to him? Absolutely. Let's see what he can do. Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... Can't help but notice he's wielding a scimitar. I want it. <laughs> there. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. I wonder how she installs it. That Just feels puts it in. Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Okay. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. That's good. Let's find some evil for you to smack then. Bring it on. And that's how we'll wrap up this episode. Pretty productive day. We got a lot done. We found Karlak, our new traveling companion. Learned about Will and I guess Will turned into a horned man he's very horny now we got to find a dowry we'll probably head back there at some point as we head up so and this mission shipment which we might get on to next time i guess we'll go explore the rest of this next time and see if we can find that missing shipment which seems to be up here so probably where we'll start and then we might head down to investigate Karga. Because I do want to actually do that this time. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's where we'll head next time. Thanks for watching this episode, though. Definitely got some good upgrades today. Gale's got a new staff. I mean, he's got two staffs now, but he's got a new one, which is a huge upgrade. Shadowheart and Karlak have good weapons. I'm loving life with my dual hand crossbows. <laughs> so... Yeah, things are going well in this, on this playthrough. Hopefully it continues to do. Have a great night or day, depending on when you're watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.